Hello and welcome to the second of our videos where we chase the River Medlock from Phillips Park down into the city centre. Now correction for the last video that we did, episode 1, I said that the Medlock flooded and washed bodies into the city centre and I said it happened about 400 years ago. Well it actually happened on the 13th of July 1872 so my mistake, I'm sorry about that. By the way if you want to see inside the culvert the uh, group of guys called the Five Keys who do urbex exploring around Manchester actually went into the culvert. I'll leave a link to their video in the description to this video. Okay, so the video starts off at the Purple Arrow like we said last time. The Purple Arrow area is quite grim. So grim in fact I named it Mordor for this video after the Lord of the Rings horrible place. So Mordor it is that we're going to, I'm going to explore around that area. Anyway, you know what they say about Mordor, don't you? One does not simply walk into Mordor. Martin, welcome back to another video. So we're on the quest, we're following the river Medlock and we're following it on its course from Phillips Park down through to the Irwell where it finishes. And the first part was a few weeks ago and we finished a, a culvert. Well now we're going to try and come out on the other side of that culvert and believe me it's brought us to an absolutely strange and desolate place. <coughs> right. Sam's here. He's no, cold. No, he's he's, <laughs> he's cold, even though it's 11 degrees. So we're walking into Mordor. Now that is the Medlock. And we're on a little bridge that goes over the Medlock. And we're trying to get to where the Medlock comes out for the culvert. And I don't know where we're going. Okay, so this is what I was warned about. This is absolutely foul. Look at it. Look at the uh, fly tipping off the top there. The fly tipped all that. Off there. Why do we always come to these places? Look at this. Yeah, the syringes and all sorts on the floor down here. It's not good. I've got big boots on. You need to be careful. You've only got trainers on. Let's go and have a look in there. I come down here. Look at that. Oh my God. So is that some sort of railway? Thing. It's a good job really I've come now because I think if I came in summer, all this would be overgrown and probably fairly impenetrable. But there is our culvert. That is it. That's the culvert. That is the other side of the culvert that comes out past underneath Man City. This river, I've learned since I've been doing this video, became known as the Red River by people and by the kids who played in this area and played in the river. And it was called the Red River because the river bed around this area was, li was lined with thousands upon thousands of red Accrington bricks. Now the there are plans afoot to lift all those Accrington bricks and to re-naturalise the riverbed of the Medlock to sort of encourage wildlife back into it. Because if you look at it, it is quite an unnatural state of affairs. This is, although we're only like a, about two miles from the city centre, this is probably the most strangest and most godforsaken place I think I've ever been to on my travels. This is quite horrendous. Now, I want to go further up, upstream. Okay, so let's take a look at where we've just been exploring. It's quite interesting. Take a look at the map on the right. I've made the cursor bigger for you so you can follow me. This area here is where I opened the video. And remember when I said, keep your eye on the gasometer behind? Well, I didn't say it. I put a little sign on the screen saying, clock this gasometer behind me. That's the gasometer just across the canal. I opened the video there. 
all right? And this area, I walked across the bridge, and this is the area here that I was exploring that I called Mordor, which was the, the awful area. This ledge here on New Viaduct Street still exists, and it's where they've tipped and fly-tipped all that rubbish. Okay, there's the Ashton Canal, and the Medlock is on, there's the Medlock culvert. This is the area, obviously, that we're interested in. If we go over to the map on the left, the, there's the gasometer as a reference point, and that's where I opened the video. And you see, this is what it was like. This map, by the way, is from 1888, 1913. And it says sanitary works. And there's the ledge that they tipped off, all the fly tipping. And so I was exploring around this old sanitary works here. Now, what's a sanitary works? Does that mean, was it a sewage works? It could have been. Because there's the Medlock, okay, River Medlock, and it runs just along here according to this this uh, this map now was this sanitary work a sewage works and was it dumping stuff into the medlock quite possibly but look at how industrialized the area is um i'll just drag the map around uh cotton works here halt town that's where the um the the tram stop is now if we go further to the right there Besic mineral yard and if we look over on the on the right hand picture you can see the other cursor moving and that's now the National Squash Centre. Bradford Ironworks there, that is right where Man City's ground is. And if we go further over here to this, to the car park there, there's Bradford Colliery, which is what we talked about in the last video. Look at the change. Okay, so here we go. Look at this picture. This picture is amazing. I couldn't believe my luck when I found this picture. So for reference, there is the gasometer. There is where I opened the video. So the gasometer, gasometer was behind me, if you remember. This is the sanitary works. The medlock is here. I think this is the medlock and it's running just underneath the canal here and along here. Okay, so like I said, the sanitary works is probably pumping sewage into the medlock at this point. Look at that ledge there. That ledge is still there. That's where all the fly tipping came off. This has obviously now been demolished. This is the area we're exploring here. This is what I was referring to as Mordor. And when we looked through that little fenced off archway and we looked upwards, it was looking up towards here. Okay, so it's obviously an archway in the viaduct that carries New Viaduct Street and this freight line here. Now this freight line is still here. If you look at it along there, look at all the old um, tankers there. And this freight line obviously is not a yard anymore, but the freight line does still run along here. It comes, it goes over Oldham Road. Some of you have probably drove underneath it and it branches off at Miles Platin Bank. This is where we are. This is the area we're exploring, but look at that. What a wonderful picture. Obviously this gasometer is now gone. This one's still here. Now, in the video, we're about to walk along here somewhere. It's difficult to place it exactly. I, the next scene, or the scene where I stand on the tram tracks is along, along here. The tram traps go up here. I walk along City Way up here. And the next part of the video we're going to explore is this little uh, canal basin here. So clock that. But look at how it was in, in, in previous years. So a brief spell back in civilization, but we're going to go up City Way now and try and go a little bit further upstream from of the river and see if we can see where the um, the Ashton Canal crosses the River Medlock. How narrow is this lock? I mean, back in the day, there must have been a real build-up of boats here, because this is just mega narrow, space for one one boat. So this is some kind of basin here. I'll have to look on the maps when I get home. Obviously this is a basin. Would have been a queuing area for the boats, no doubt, to get into that really narrow lock there. Right, this is interesting. This is some kind of overflow for the, for the Ashton Canal. Well, obviously it's an overflow. Now you can hear water flowing. Now, I could be wrong, but I think this goes down a set of steps and runs down to the Medlock. It, it, I'll show you a picture, but when you go into the Medlock culvert, which is what I've shown you, from the, from one side is like a, 
an entry point into the culvert but it's a set of steps and it's an overflow from the Ashton Canal. Now I'm guessing, I'm thinking that this is the top end of it. So the Ashton Canal overflows here, runs down what I think is the steps and down into the Medlock culvert. Could be wrong, but it pretty much all matches up. There is a picture what some guy, some urban explorer did. Try and get the picture for you and show you. This picture, by the way, of the overflow in the Medlock culvert was not taken by me. It's taken by somebody called Paul Dabraski, and it's taken from his website, Rag Picking History. Uh, I'll put a link there for you. So that picture isn't mine. It's for, by Paul Dabraski. Thank you very much, Paul. Aha. Interesting. Let's go. Okay, quickly, just to give some context as to where we are now. So Sam and I have been exploring this area up here. We've walked along the towpath which goes under the under New Viaduct Street and under the railway here. And the little doorway or the little gap you saw us go through has led us into this area here now. Now that, whatever that is, is it a road on a bridge? Has gone. There's no evidence of that. I can't see any evidence of that. But this is the area we're now looking around. And obviously we're looking inside the arches underneath this railway. This is all part of the network of tunnels and little routes around the Ashton Canal and where the Medlock is. I think this is, we're now above the Medlock. Sam's over there. Yeah, look at this. Obviously someone's uh, living here, man. Maybe. Absolutely grim. Absolutely grim. Look at the massive gas pipe there. Yeah, fires, and then this is just like an arch, but they've cleared it, haven't they? They've cleared it to make way. God, it's so a place you find a body, it's horrendous. What's he doing in there? No, you're all right. I don't want any new Adidas trainers. I recently put a trailer out on the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and it said on it, "Off the beaten track where the tourists don't go." Well, I'm telling you now, this is where the tourists don't go. This is about a million miles away from uh, King Street and Harvey Nicks as you can get in Manchester. This is absolutely okay. So this is the other side. You remember we looked through that fence and we saw that tunnel that went upwards tunnel that went upwards yeah and um, this is the other side of it and it's just as grim on this side of it so about this point you see a face at that <laughs> that doorway now <laughs> This railway line here that we walk alongside of here is a freight line. Okay, I've just been trying to climb over a fence to get over this side of the canal and there's a dead easy path into it. So, there we go, there is the Medlock. So that, the culvert is down there below us. There's the Medlock. And over there to the left, is that horrible area where all those needles were and we were looking around. Okay, so I'm stood on the banks of the Ashton Canal, which is at a higher level than the Medlock. And there we're looking at where the sanitary works was. So we're looking almost directly into the sanitary works. Well, the bulk of it would have been on the right. That's where the river runs onwards then. And that's the next part of our journey. This quest following the Medlock has brought us to some horrendous places. It's almost urban exploring, isn't it? And like I said, it's about as far away from uh, Harvey Nicks and Glass Apartments as you can get, but that's our channel for you. Thanks for watching. Shall see you in the next video and the next quest to follow the Medlock will be very soon.
and it gets even harder and even more difficult to follow because it's there's, I've looked at it there's even more culverts and more inaccessible areas so I don't know how we're going to go on to be honest with you but we're going to try and take it all the way to the Irwell anyway see you soon take care Thank you.